All right, welcome back for part two. In part two, I'm gonna show you how to create your 3D object in Adobe Dimension. So let's go. I have Adobe Dimension open and I'm going to create a new file. And I always come up to this zoom menu first thing, click on 100% and see that my canvas is super small. So I'm going to hold shift and option, stretch that up so it's about 2000 pixels wide. I'll adjust the height just depending on what I need. For this one, I think I'll, I'm happy with that because when the shadows are cast to the sides, I like to have enough room so that if I were to place a transparent PNG in a design that the shadows don't get cut off. So even if my object is taller than it is wide, I still often choose a landscape style or landscape ratio. Okay, and then the other thing I'll do is take my resolution up to 300. These two things are the secret to getting crispy, beautiful rendering. It might take a little bit longer than a low res one, but you're gonna be much happier with the quality than the little low, low res teeny tiny image. Now I'm gonna start assembling. I'm gonna start with the tumbler, dragging that to the base. You can also click this move to ground button to place it down there. And then I will drag and create my front I'm just gonna place it so I can create my camera bookmark. I'm just gonna label that front so that I have a good sense of where the front of my rendering will be. Then I will create, oh, let me bring in the metal. There's the metal piece. These will go on top of each other. I'm just roughly placing them in. I'm gonna tweak everything and get the pieces lined up shortly using the align tools, but I just wanna place things in so that they're approximately where they need to go. Okie dokie, we have our lid and I'll move that to the top there. I'm not trying to be too OCD, but I do want them pretty close. And then we'll rotate this one down and move that in place. And the last piece, well, the last major piece is our straw which I won't stress about too much, but my OCD is kicking in. And then we need our logo for the top. And I did not size this one to scale, so we will for sure have to size that down in a second. So Yeti, I'm just gonna name everything really quick. And just name these whatever makes sense to you. Straw. I'm gonna select all of these objects and I'm gonna go to the align tools and these little guys will show up. And I'm just gonna click center and center. And I know for sure with that outer lid that it's going to be incorrect because it has that piece that sticks out. So I will need to do a little bit of tweaking to make sure that that is fitting how it needs to fit. And try to get a few different angles, kind of suss out how it's sitting on your shape. There's gonna be a little bit of a gap there because those aren't fused together. And what also would help me is if I went ahead and applied my materials to these so I can get a better idea of, you know, things that are transparent, things that aren't. Um, let me go ahead and align the tumbler and the middle tumbler though, because those things will need to be very aligned because they're one piece in the real world. So I do need to go grab from my Illustrator file that color because it did not come through when I took it into Dimension. So I'm just gonna copy that hex value and come back, click on this tumbler. I'm gonna scroll down to our materials because matte is kind of the default, but I want to make sure that it's actually a matte texture. Click on that color and paste in the hex value and voila, there is our tumbler color and shape. Next, I want the metal piece to show as metal. So I will scroll down to the substance materials and find a brushed metal. There we go. So this lid inset, I do need to scale this down like 0.9 so that the metal shows through. I made that probably a little too exact. We should scale these proportionally. So everything should be 0.9 now that it's scaled. The lid inset, 0.85. All right, and I'm just gonna get that replaced so that it sits where it needs to sit. Um, based on the reference, it does look like that is pretty accurate there. And I can also, while I have this view, move this straw so that it sits in the hole where it needs to be. Let's go ahead and add the plastic. Now you can see they are indeed plastic, but they're not transparent or translucent. 
So on each of these, I'll come in and I will increase the translucence to probably 86%. So hold on with the logo, I need to apply a plastic to the whole thing. And then when I click on these inside pieces, I'll be able to adjust the translucence altogether. So let's go with 90 for the translucence for all of these. So lid inset, we'll choose 90. And the outer lid, we will make that 90 for the translucence as well. Let's look at a render preview and see where we sit with that. Yeah, I think that's looking nice. I could add a little bit of roughness if I wanted to add a little bit more cloudiness to that, but I think 90% translucence looks really great. Next, we need to scale this logo so that it sits on the lid. I did not do that in Illustrator, but it's okay because I can change this in Dimension. So I click the chain icon here so that all of the proportions scale and I can just drag this. I can click, wait for this arrow to show up, and just drag those in until I'm happy with the scale of it and just keep tweaking, moving things around. You can also just type in a manual number. So I can just type in like 0.32, keep positioning it until, yeah, it looks good. Um, I can come to the top view and see that maybe I'll move it to the right, but you know, it's really subjective. It's however you want it to look. That is up to you. And then I'll apply the plastic to the straw and I'll also bring the translucence to 90% since I assume they're the same materials. And then the other thing is the default for plastic is a gray, like kind of a light gray, but if you want like a true clear, clear plastic, then just slide the hue to white. And I might do that on all of these just to see, you know, just to see how it looks. How are we looking? Hey, what happened to my tumbler? When did that, <laughs> when did that change from yellow? Okay, we'll go back and we'll click yellow. That was weird, I just noticed that, <laughs> sorry. I'll watch that when I'm editing this later and be like, Whoa. And then the lid inset, I'll change that one to white just to see how that looks too. Let me look at my render preview by clicking this button. And yeah, I can see that that would be really convincing and really good. I'll keep, I'll keep the, um, white and let me even apply it to the logo here too okay and then the last step is i found the yeti logo with the silver wrapped around so it's also time to place any graphics you want on there so it's as easy as just dragging dropping i found this logo i'm going to place it on here and make it look like a real yeti cup so drag it into place let me come back to my front view and get that situated. Yes, looking at my reference, that is about where it would be placed. And it has a bit of a brushed metal effect on it too. And I can achieve that by sliding this scale and I can choose how rough I want it. Like, do I want it like really shiny or do you want it kind of like a matte metal? But that is the way to place in a graphic and make it look metallic. And if you wanted it to look gold, you would have to place something like a graphic that looked gold and then apply the metallic. You can't change the image file color in Dimension. But that's, that's it. Now we have our Yeti cup. All right, that wraps it up. If you found this content really helpful, I would love if you would subscribe. This video was a request from Crochet by Natalia. If you have a video that you would like to see next, leave that in the comment below. Until next time, designers.